welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video. It is a review and demo on the Too Faced Le Grand Chateau. The packaging, first of all, is super, super cute. I cannot wait to tell you guys all about this, show you swatches, everything like that. I ordered mine online from Too Faced. It took a little over a week to arrive and the retail price is $49. I did already do two blog posts on this baby. I did one before I got it and I calculated the true value of the palette, whether it's worth the money or not. And then I did a blog post with still swatches as well as talking about every single individual product formula, whether it is one that's slightly more dry or if it is super creamy and buttery and smooth and I'm already in love. So that stuff, link below. This is the box that the set comes in. It is very elegant and the ribbon-like packaging is of a gift box and it is actually textured. So if you rub your fingers against it, it does have a slight texture. So even the outer box just shows the complete detail that went into this palette. It is extremely detail-oriented. On the back, it has the names of all three palettes as well as everything else included. And you can see that there is a darker, more sultry palette, a very natural daytime palette, and then another more neutral base with a couple of more interesting shadows in there. And then you get a mini deluxe size of their Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And the packaging itself is a super, super cute dollhouse like I showed you a minute ago. So let's go into that dollhouse packaging. It is an actual dollhouse. So you can see they even did a little door and a roof. On the back is a description of the products itself. The roof lifts off to reveal a place that the palettes are stored in. It is magnetic, so it does close by itself. You get a little design of a chaise lounge with the Paris Eiffel Tower in the background at night. On one side you have a little white dress with gold detailing and then on the other you have a more elegant black dress that is fitted on each little mannequin. Originally all three palettes were stored in here with the mascara in the front. If you want to see how it looked all packaged up, a blog post and don't have it all perfectly set up as it came right now. The flooring is tiled and it does come all closed up again when you want to put it away. First palette is Paris in Love. It is pink on the outer packaging and the ribbons like the outer box do have a sort of texture to them. On one side the pattern matches the outer box, on the other you get all of your product in here. You have a bronzer in the shade Jolie as well as six eyeshadows. It is hard to do live swatches. The sort of pinky matte cream shade is the shade Amour. The middle shade, which is a softly iridescent sort of peachy shade, peachy pink, is the shade Fleur. And the one on the end, which is a pink with a hint of purple in it, is in the shade Je T'aime. Next, the other three shades in this palette. lighter one over here is the shade Moi, and then we have Sherry, and then we have Toot Sweet. So the two bronzy ones are similar, but I hope you can tell that the shade Moi is slightly lighter. I feel like that's the shade Moi because most people do tend to gravitate towards those kind of colors. The middle one is definitely a lot cooler and more taupey but they are all shimmery and very wearable and pretty pigmented. The shadows are all swatched as well as the blushes and everything. I'm swatching without any primer on so you can see just how full, live, intense swatches they are. The teal packaging one is Paris Eau Naturelle. That is the one that I used in the majority of my demo today. First three top row are all matte. Super buttery and smooth, but a little bit like most of these mattes are slightly on the dry side, but not too dry, so they are unwearable. The lightest shade is the shade Peau du Creme, and it is a slightly off-white cream shade, except unlike the original one I swatched, it is more on the yellow warmer side. The middle shade is Fifi, just a classic matte brown transition shade. And the last one that shows almost like a black on me is a very deep sort of chocolatey mocha brown. 
the top one is the shade Bonjour. It goes on a little bit less intense on the eyes. And then the middle one is in the shade Merci. It is another sort of bronzy shade. I think that it is, again, pretty similar to the other two bronzy ones. Quality is just the same. It might be a little bit lighter and a little bit more golden than the other ones, So This one is a black, more charcoaly black with some gold shimmers. So I would say this palette is more golden toned. The last palette is Paris After Dark and it has slightly more sultry shades. There are two black shades, one slightly more charcoal with glitter and the other is a matte black. I used the matte black in the look I was wearing earlier today before I filmed this video and the shadow did transfer up into my crease. So, uh, the other shades I also used in my look earlier, which I didn't really photograph well, so I can't really show you guys, sorry, but the other shades didn't transfer, they lasted all day, no fading, no smearing, no nothing, but for some reason the black isn't just the best kind of quality, it's a little bit dry and it did smear. The rest shades have, however, are amazing. This is an honest review, so I want to tell you guys my honest experiences. Um, so yeah, the black shade's not the best, but every other shade in this palette is pretty darn amazing. That goes for the others as well. The shade Provence, which is named after, of course, the lavender fields in Provence, France, is slightly on the sheer side, but still a very buildable color. You can also use these wet or with a primer, and that will make them, of course, more intense. The one with most pops of color and slightly sultry. If you see when I shift this in the light, you can see that that black kind of charcoal shade, it does have some kind of purple glitters up to it. So if you wanted to create a cool tone purple look, this would be so gorgeous. The top one is the iridescent shade I used as my inner corner as well as cheek highlight today, Le Marais. And then we have the shade Rendezvous, which is a taupey, slightly mauve toned, mid-tone transition-y kind of color. And then lastly, we have Provence. It is one of the more sheer ones, like Bonjour. It tends to be a little in less intense on the eyes as it swatches, but definitely paired with a base or a primer or something like a um, setting spray type fixing medium, it would be more intense. And the last three shadows. Oh, look how gorgeous that top one is. That one is the shade Parfait. A very gorgeous, probably the most buttery shadow in the entire set. And then we have a slightly not super pigmented, almost, well, I guess I just call it a true black with some golden, maybe slightly purpley silver sparkles, pretty similar to the other matte black with sparkles. And then we have a matte charcoal black. Briefly, I just want to mention the mascara since it is included. If you have not tried this mascara yet, this set does include it, so you could give it a try. I've tried it multiple times now because a lot of their sets and palettes do come with this mascara. I like it. It's not my absolute favorite, but it does give you very amped up voluminous lashes. I find that as the tube dries out, it is more prone to flaking of it, but at the beginning and towards the middle of the use, especially towards the middle, it is the most voluminous in buildable layers. So in one's coat, it's about an average mascara, but it builds on top of that, so it goes beyond what some mascaras do. I don't think that they make a waterproof version in this, so keep that in mind. If you only ever wear waterproof, this is not waterproof so okay so what I want to do is I want to swatch the bronzer and the blushes live so you can see what I mean about the pigmentation I had to show you guys that the bronzer does have sparkles so it is not the most full-on pigmentation as you can see though it does still pack a pretty good punch of color I'm the bronzer all around my face today even on my hairline and you can tell it doesn't make the face look too orange or anything, which if you're pale like me, can be a problem. I also used this blush today in the shade Mademoiselle. It is just a soft kind of coral. The thing about these blushes is they do not swatch super intense, 
but on a brush they do pick up and disperse the color evenly and very effectively. They remind me of the Tarte blushes the most in that aspect where when you swatch them you're kind of like, oh this isn't too exciting. But then on the cheeks you do get that full on color and they don't have any glow to them, they are completely matte. The bronzer on the other hand is a shimmery. I say the quality is overall definitely worth it. The matte shades are not the most buttery matte shades I've ever used, but they definitely blend really well on the eyes. So sometimes if these are too buttery, they'll kind of stick to where you place them. These definitely have enough of a powdery sort of feel to them that they blend really well. These shimmery ones range from slightly lacking to super buttery and pigmented. So depending on your color range, it also has a slight variety, but for the most part, pretty dang neutral. You want to see the look I'm wearing right now, which is cheek makeup as well as eye makeup, and then just stay tuned for my demo. So far, I just have the light layer of foundation on, concealer, and set it with powder, as well as my brows. For the demo portion of this video, I'm going to be using a bronzer, a blush, as well as eyeshadows and mascara. To start, I'm going to be taking the bronzer in Jolie. you have two options. You have the top blush, which is Mademoiselle, which is a warm peach, and then you have the bottom blush, which is Tray Fab, and it is a cooler baby pink. Today, I'm just going to be using the top one and Mademoiselle. How the blush came from was the Paris Eau Naturel set. And it is also the one that I'm going to be using my eyeshadows from today. This set is the most neutral. You have three matte shades on the top and then three shimmery ones. To start, I'm just going to be putting the shade Peau de Crème all over my lid. I'm going to take the next shade over, which is Fifi, into the crease. Take the shade La Femme. Back and blend with Fifi. Pack the shade Bonjour all over the lid. Take the shade Merci on the center of the lid. Again, and blend. La Femme on the lower lash line. After Dark Palette, the shade Le Meret is a slightly duochrome off-white. I'm going to be using this on my inner corner as well as the tops of my cheekbones. anywhere else you normally highlight. For mascara, I'm going to be going in with Too Faced Better Than Sex. And 
doing my mascara and then added Too Faced Melted Peony Longwear Liquefied Lipstick on my lips. This uh, lip product is not included in this set, but it is included in the majority of their sets that include lip products, so I thought I would show that with this look as well. If you liked this video, demo, and review, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have any other questions, comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below, and don't forget to check out my blog post for still swatches as well as more information like the true value and further honest opinions. So until next time, bye!